Hi, I'm Kyla from Vengage. Today, I'm gonna to share three super common slide slip-ups and how to avoid them when creating presentations. Let's look at this slide. It's definitely suffering from some mistakes. The first of which is that the point is unclear. This is in a way the worst slide slip up of all, because if you're presenting and someone looks at your slide and doesn't know what you wanna say with it, you've lost your ability to communicate effectively. Let's assume that out of all of this, the primary thing I wanna make sure my audience knows is highlighted here. In 2015, we made a switch from macadamia nut pieces to whole macadamia nuts. In particular, I wanna draw people's attention to the fact that they gained market share from competitors when that change took place. If that's the case, let's consider what is typically the first thing people see when we put a slide in front of them, the slide title. This is a descriptive title, tricks versus competitors and spin-off products. Notice it's even in title case with the first letter of each word capitalized. What if, instead of using my title to sell people what I'm going to show, let's frame it as what I want my audience to see. Trix Trail Mix gained market share in 2016. This is a takeaway title. Notice it's in sentence case where I've capitalized the first letter but none of the rest. This helps me think about titling as complete thoughts. This means even if my audience doesn't look at anything else on my slide, if they read the title, I've gotten my main message across. Put everything else back up and now it looks even better. Here, I wanna take a moment to talk about Vengage. Vengage is a great graphic design tool for everyone. Even if you're not a designer, you can use it to select any template, customize it as you need, and download it in any format you like. It's simple, easy to edit online, and has tons of template options to choose from. Try using Vengage for free. Now, let's get back to our slide mistake number two, which is the use of too many colors. Take a look at these graphs and you'll note that every data series is in its own distinct color. Focus on the graph on the left. A simple change here can get people to look where we want them to. Make everything gray except for the trick sales. Notice now we can see that increase in sales in 2016. One thing we've complicated here is with all these gray lines. A separate legend at the bottom of each graph isn't gonna work but I can deal with that by labeling the data series correctly. Next, pour attention to detail. Now, direct your attention to the graph. Let's clean that up. Start by eliminating grid lines. Next, I'm gonna turn my attention to the Y axis. I'll drop the trailing zone and also add an axis title. Speaking of titles, I'm gonna take that graph title, make it shorter and pithier, and I'll also move it to the left. Notice this creates some nice framing for my graph. Similarly, you can play around with slides in many ways to make them more visually appealing and compelling. And that's a wrap with this quick guide. Try using Vengage for free. Don't forget to follow us on social media and I'll see you in the next one.